Hello everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and here we are working on the pink journal. Um, I did want to remind everybody right now in November of 2024, there's two big specials going on. Number one, you automatically get a bonus package with any regular fundal purchase. Um, you don't need a code or a coupon. And if you order it in December, December, if you order it in November of 2024, and it's going to be a whole host of really fun, cool little items to use in your junk journals. Uh, all sorts of things from, I wrote it down here. Yeah. Stencils, unique papers, handwritten correspondence, black and white photos, stickers, laces, trims, specialty fabrics, and more. 25 pieces in the bonus. Um, automatically included with any fundal purchase in November. And then the second special is 50% off all DigiKits in November 2024. This is an awesome time to load up for the holiday season. Uh, maybe you're going to plan out what you're going to be making next year. Uh, so it's a rare sale at the Paper Outpost, but I thought it would be really fun uh, to combine these two special offers uh, for November for you right now. Also, no code or coupon needed for the 50% off. And... There you go. So you just go to my Etsy shop, or if you can't find that, just go to www.thepaperoutpost.com, and that will take you to my Etsy shop. So there you go, folks. Have lots of fun, and let's dive in. Okay, so the next step is going to be... Okay, i just give you a quick view again. I, I went ahead and glued the colored flower sac uh, material onto the pink journal, and then now I'm going to be working on the inside. The first thing I'm going to do is I have this package of little strips of fabric and I thought this might be fun you could use anything in here bed sheet but this is like a polyester but I want to reinforce the spine but also give it a little bit of a header at the top and the bottom so let me get a fabric scissor because I'm so fancy with that stuff okay here we go my, my scissors are so dull because I I cut paper with them. I know, I know you're not supposed to do that. I, it happens. You know what I mean? It's not intentional, but I'm, I'm somewhere like upstairs and these are the only ones I can find and lo and behold, it happens. So it's not the best thing for your scissors. They'll, they won't cut as well. So just know that going in, don't do it. <laughs> um, just go ahead and use your regular paper scissors for paper and your um, uh fabric scissors for your fabric and all will be well. Probably have to sharpen them all at some point. You can take them to a knife store or have the knife guy come to your house or get a paper sharpener. I've never had the knife guy come to my house. Um, get the paper uh, sharpeners that you can buy that you can paper sharpeners, the scissor sharpeners you can buy yourself and you can sharpen them yourself too. Uh, I usually end up just buying a new pair of scissors. Yeah, I know. I'm so lazy. Okay, that's all right, though. Um, I have tried sharpening. I have. I just, I'm not very good at it. Okay, here we go. Down there. I just wanted to poke out just a smidgeroony above the, uh, the actual uh, top and the bottom. Not too much. I don't want to be standing out too high. Let's just take an eyeball here. Just enough so it's visible. So it's like one of those little headers. There we go. And then one at the bottom. There we go. All right. That's good. Let me get a little more glue down here. Oops. This is Fabrifix glue, in case anybody was wondering. And I'm still using the old original bottle. I know. I know. Not using my. Sugar Bells Icing Piping Bottle at the moment. This is just functioning at the moment, so we're, we're rolling with it until it becomes mayhem, and then we will go in a different direction. Okay, so we have that down. But what I would like to do is cover the inside with something specifically now. Okay, let me get you all over there. Okay, um, and right across. So I could do it either with um, paper or with fabric. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the fabric. Let me see if I have enough on this left over. I might now. There's there's like colorized pieces here. Let's see what we have. Now well, we could have a piece there. Now this would be white. That would be okay though. And this might be white with a little bit of pink, which would be okay though. Oh, I have a bigger piece down here. Okay, so we do. We have a couple of pieces. Now, 
But, I, you know, ideally, oh, I would really like to just tear it right across and do it once. Let's try that. Okay. Um, since it is the, um, the theme of the flower sack, pink, we could do the inside. Let me see if I can get this off of here and get it to look somewhat square. If it doesn't come out right, we can always change our minds. That's the great thing about crafting. You're kind of never really stuck as long as your imagination is still firing. You're going to wiggle yourself out in 90% of anything that comes up. Hopefully I can tear this way. Oh yeah, the gods are with us. All right. Okay, it's probably too big. Heep, too big. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Now, let's just see where we want to cut this. Okay, place that there. 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 All right. Right here. Oh boy, let's see if that was in the right spot. This is what you get for not measuring. This could be mayhem, but we're going in. Now, does the yellow show through? Not really. Okay, that's good. But does the um, does the fabric stretch? It may. So we want to make sure we lay it down properly. It needs to be a little, a little narrower. We got another little sliver off. Okay, everything's going good. We will use these, so just save all these little pieces. And huh? see, the more I stretch it, the more it goes. Okay, now okay. That's right. You got to kind of find the right spot. This is a bit of a fabric that moves a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do the bottom a little bit. Here we go. Hope this works. Okay, always to take off a little less than you think. Because you can go back and always take off more. But I do like the little ruffled, the little, you know, torn edge we're getting with that. That's kind of cool. And I almost feel like there's like this gut instinct way deep inside myself. <laughs> that I feel like I almost want to put this down. You know what I think I'm going to do? I don't know if this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a piece of uh, this stuff. And I think I'm going to... Is that what I want to do? See, my alternative thought was cutting a piece and then wrapping it in this. That way I'll have nice little borders and it'll have a shape. I could do that to make it a little narrower. My alternative method here. Or I could just go straight across and maybe this is what I'll do. Maybe I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'm going to cover. Hang on, let me make this smaller. Um, I think I'm going to. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I just want to whiten it up a little bit. I'm just trimming over here. <laughs> them that wide. Let's take a smidge off. Okay, cut them in half. Five and a half. One more little smidge off. Make it down to five. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters each. Okay. I just want to cover the yellow background just so it's not coming through. And let me go ahead and glue these down. That's going to give me a nice solid white background. All right, I'm going to go around with my Fabrifix. And I hope you guys are having crafty fun out there today and you're just enjoying yourselves with a nice, relaxing, zen experience of crafting. I hope you're not letting any of your crafting uh, calamities get you down. You just get back on that crafty horse and ride. Come on, don't let it stop you. Everything is just a tweak away from being a success. So just don't give up on your stuff. Don't throw it out before it's done. 
Um, and sometimes you got to keep playing with it or tweaking it until it's done. Sometimes it might take a bit. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to tweak that until I get it. There we go. Get you under. The, okay, now you're going to fight with me. Okay, that's all right. Just because I had the camera on, right? Any other day you'd be fine. But no, today you're going to have an issue. Okay, that's all right. We all have our moments. Uh, so you're getting excited about the holidays? Are you dreading the holidays? Um, I am going to be going to my aunt's 90th uh, birthday party, and I'm very excited about that because, hey, that doesn't happen every day, and that's a very exciting time for everybody to just sit back and take a breather and realize, way to go, Aunt Mary. If you can make it to 90, your you're, thank you for demonstrating our gene pool ain't that bad. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and cover most of this. Okay. And that's also going to strengthen the entire thing. Not too worried about that one little piece there. That's okay. All right. There we go. Okay, good. Now... We're going to come along and put this baby on top, and that is going to make everything really nicey nice. Now let me make sure it's not too wide. Might be a smidge wide. I think I'm going to take off one more little. Let's hope she doesn't take off too much. We're going to find out, aren't we? Yep. You might have to come up completely with plan B if I didn't quite get that one right. I think I'm going to do okay, though. I think it's going to all be okay. All right, so now we're going to come down with some Fabrifix and glue this puppy down. All right, so I know I'm definitely covering this thing. All right, so do, 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 do. Yeah, takes a little more brute strength than the Sugar Bells icing piping bottle that I normally have it in, which I can't even get it out of the thing because it's become one in there. Um, but I will probably go back to that method. Um, okay, and here. It's a very good idea to glue it well into the spine area. Here we go. Here we go. So this is the decorating of the inside cover going on, what you're seeing now. Okay, I'm going to get the basic shape because you can always come back in and tack it down a little bit. It doesn't really matter whether you go north, south, east, west, just as long as you, you do your covering. And it's not a bad idea. Um, when you work with this silicone glue to finger smoosh these um, beads of glue out just a little bit so they're not so bumpy because sometimes the bumps will show through. If you want it to look more smooth, then just finger smoosh. And then, uh, okay, get out of there and then come back in with this and hope to gosh everything is measuring right. Okay, you do have to go to the edges. Okay, make sure there's no wrinkies. No wrinkles. Nope. All right. All right, there we go. Okay. Well, that's a little too close to the edge, so we'll retreat. You, you do have a second or two to, to get this all down. Okay. All right, stretching that out a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looking good. I like the little torn edge look. Okay. Mush that in there. Close, open, close, open, and we are good. Okay, so maybe there's a little, I don't, I know I didn't glue over here, so I'm going to come back in and put a little more glue down. All right, for anything that I think might need a little extra tack down. Anything over here? Yeah, I think you were off the, off the map up there. Okay, how about you? A little off the map, that's all right. It really doesn't take a lot of fabric. I mean, this is still, I'm working with one tea towel, one flower sack tea towel so far, and we've used it to cover the front and cover the inside. Okay, so we have that so far. Not bad, right? Okay, so um, let's maybe, while we have a little bit of time here before we jump into um, putting the signature pages in. We have a few more of these little lovelies I thought might be fun to decorate up. Uh, these are from the Pink Balloons uh, Digi Kit that uh, recently launched on the Paper Outpost. 
Uh, and right now there's a, that 50% off on DigiKits. So if you're thinking about any, this is a good time to get them. Um, we don't do that special very often, but figure for my, my tried and true peeps, you guys deserve a break. And it's holiday season, and I know the money's got to go far, right? It's got to go in all different directions all the time. And I thought I would just have some fun decorating these up because I know I'm going to use them. So I'm mass making just a bunch of fun things to put in the journal. And I don't even know yet what these are going to be. Maybe I will as I decorate them. We shall see. Um, I think this time maybe I'm going to play with a little bit of mm, gold. Yeah, how about that? Gold gilding paste, gilding wax, and this little lovely sponge rooney. And um, all right, here we go. This is, it stays soft. All right. Going around the edges. No, oh, I think I, okay, that actually is really pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but that's real pretty on the edges. Just kiss it. It's not overwhelming, but it's just a little something, you know what I mean? Just a little specialness. It's kind of pretty. You can do it with some of these. It doesn't have to be all of them, but you could do it on some. I like that a lot, the way that came up. Okay. You want to have that too? Okay, we'll put, put maybe we'll do it on all three of these. And, um, oh, hello, I do have an idea for one of these. Maybe we'll do a little, let me try right now. Actually, let me try with these scissors. We could do it two different ways, but my idea is to rough up the edges on these. And you can do it with a sanding block. And it gives you more of a gritty edge, like a yeah, um, a raised, I don't want to say feathered, but it's like frayed a little bit at the end. I don't know how to describe it, but it gives it a little bit more of a texture to it. If you like that look, and then you can come along and anything that you put there, any um, gilding or um, inks or dyes or anything like that it might grab a little better or a little bit more intensely would be the maybe the right verbiage um, as we're searching for the right verbiage there we go that's kind of cool you can also do it with scissors remember this old technique we were learning back in the day okay hmm. that probably does it the most effective you really want that super super ruffled look that super rough rough look yeah let's go for the rough look it's not the easiest thing with these scissors let's try a bigger scissor oh here we go using the set the fabric so this is what you're not supposed to do don't use your fabric scissors but want, get a scissor you can open and go lightly you don't have to go hard but this is a nice way to rough up that edge and then you can come along with some inks or dyes or gilding paste or whatever you got paint it's just going to give it a little bit more grab so it looks a little bit more distressed. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, thank you, brain. You work every once in a while. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. So you, you're working on your projects or you're just playing. Maybe you're just playing. Maybe you don't have to have projects. Maybe you're just goofing around. It's totally fine. Um, there are no rules in this world of crafting and you're allowed to have fun. Keep remembering that, that the whole purpose of this is supposed to be fun and maybe you'll make some really cool things along the way. But even if everything comes out like bananas in a basket, you know what I mean? Like nobody really knows what that is. Um, it can still be a really good day. I mean, if you just had fun in the process, I just love the way that gilding looks on there. Isn't that pretty? Um, and you can go gilding and this stuff, stickles and Nuvo drops and stuff like that and liquid pearls um, in addition to, or you can keep it simple and clean and, and, and just do uh, it like that. So I like this. I think I want more gilding. Increase my gildability here. Okay, here we go. I think this is the one I didn't rough up. But just another little technique that can be done. So that, that was easy enough, right? Okay. So these are going to look really pretty in here. I just, I really just have a strong feeling they're going to look great. And uh, there's just something so relaxing about balloons and pink. And uh, I don't know, I just think these are adorable. So you could do a lot of fun things. 
um, with these in your journals. Um, they could be pockets or tucks or belly bands or journal cards. We made some the other day and we're going to keep making things themed mm -hmm. in pink for a little while until, um, but remember you can do this with any color. Let's say you want to make mm -hmm. a green journal or a neutral journal or a blue journal. Of course, you could do anything like that. So there you go. That was pretty quick and easy mm -hmm. today. So what else do we have? Um, just again, another reminder of the specials that are going on in November. Mm -hmm. And let me get little Mr. Snuffles. He's got to be here somewhere. Hold on. I got to find him. Mr. Sunshine, time for your puff day. Oh, you're out of the tiger? He was way across the living room, but I got him. And, uh... Okay, everybody, this is Sunshine Junior Cub Pup reporting that, um, Sunshine did not have a bath. Sunshine evaded bath, and Sunshine will likely be caught today for said bath. Because there were more fun things to do than have a bath. All right, it, it, like, like, there's a lot of fun things more that are more fun, like crafting. Okay, Sunshine wasn't crafting, but Sunshine was helping. And Sunshine was helping eat popcorn. Yes, I like popcorn. Um, it's very good. I uh, highly recommend it, but it gets stuck in your teeth, even mine. And um, what else? Okay, so there's the possibility that along with Sunshine having a bath, he might get a face trim, a la mom. Sometimes she does that. She clears me little eyes so I can see better. When I'm tromping across the floor or I'm chasing a squirrel, I would like to be able to see. Seeing is a good thing. So we're going to work on that today. See if mom can get her acting gear and have a nice, clean, trimmed sunshine for presentation for tomorrow's pup date. Okay. So take care, everybody. Happy crafting. Have fun. That's the name of the game around here. Sunshine out. Love ya. All right. That was very nice. Okay. I think you're growing up. Okay. So there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. And um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Um, my uh, podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. And uh, um, I have uh, a newsletter, a free monthly emailed newsletter. Uh, you can sign up for that and you're going to get a free digital image emailed to you every month. And then you're going to get a list of uh, supplies to keep your eyes open for. And you're going to get um, a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page, as well as a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. Okay, so here is my master link. If you can't find the drop down description box below, just click on that little lovely or actually type it in painstakingly. And then it'll have a list of all my links for my Amazon shop, my Etsy shop, my merchandise shop, uh, podcasts. All my in, uh, all social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. Remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.